I hope you're doing Ralph here, Ralph for Customs. Um, yeah, the nation is gripped in the middle of extreme weather. It's almost spring, but winter's come back with a fucking, with a snarl of fucking blustery, fucking blizzards and all sorts of shits going on. The country's at a standstill. So I'm in for a few hours. Uh, the, I'll put a video up of me travelling in. It don't look too bad, but after I finish filming, the further away from home I got, the fucking worse it got. So I don't think I'll be snowed in. But it's a bit treacherous. So we're back on our Nigels. Uh, next up, I'm going to make a 45 mil spacer out of this three quarter stainless or whatever it is, 21 mil stainless. Don't know. So I need to go over to the lathe and bore a bit out, drill a bit out. M8 clearance. Sorry, 10 mil clearance. Fucking, hell, I need another coffer. 10 mil clearance. Yeah. So we're going to do 10 mil clearance through the uh, awesome fefa, and then we'll spin a Rooney and part it off like we sound absolutely. Top bowl, old bean. Uh, first up, we'll get our potted, uh, sorry, faced off. Told you, I can't fucking talk. Like so. Break the edge. And now we'll drill it out. Come in with the centre drill to get the party started. Bit of loop. We'll just make sure that's not tight and work this in nice and steady. Nice and steady. Like so. And now we're in with the 10mm. The 10mm clearance, this is. It should be spot on for it. And we know we want to make a space of 45mm long, so we need to go in at least 45 millimetres. I'll go about 48 to allow for the parting off tool. Uh, we'll just work our way in. Don't be shy with the lube and the old stainless. And just cut it nice and steady. If you get it too hot it goes rock hard. It's a problem like so we don't want that. We don't want to weld the drill bit to the fucking job at, at this stage like that won't be very clever anyway you can join me when i've done that i oh, know with that done we slowed it down a bit we'll break that edge and then we'll move the material out so we've got <coughs> Fuck off, it's tight so we've got a little out at least 40 45 plus the three mil for the tool so i've got my vernier gauge set at the depth I want and I'll just come half inch off the, the face of the chuck there so I know that I can get in with the parting off tool and I'll get this nice and tight like so and then find my parting off tool which is half drop it in the tool holder tighten things up and Again, using my depth gauge on my vernier, we'll just bring that into there until it touches the face, and we know that's where we want to be. So that should be golden. You see, eh? Then she blows. Need a bit more lube than that. Bring my can round. There we go. Nothing like a cold morning to make the oil smoke when you're machining. And happy days. 
sorted. So I'll spin this round, face it up, and then we'll go back over to the job. Okay, so now we're over back at the bike and we can see how that fits. And I am going for, oh, that fits really nice, just fits perfect. I'm really pleased with that. I've not gone too bulky because we want to clear the chain that's coming today. I reckon we'll be sound. So now what I can do is I can use a marker pen and my silver, I'll use my silver pencil to mark where I want the end of the bar. Oh, it's not really showing up on there. Go move it around to the black part. There. Yeah. And I'll go and cut it down and then cut a thread on each end. So I'll just use my hacksaw to cut that off. Then I need to use the power saw. And I do enjoy using my hacksaw, so. Well, with that done, we're back over at the lathe. Just speed it up a bit. And we can face the end off and get it ready to take the thread. So, I'm going to clean that up. And, bear with, I'm just going to make a mark 20 millimetres from the end. So, that is just about there like so that's where the thread's going to end and then we'll put, put a good chamfer on with a file to get the thread started like so so now we slow things down and we're coming with a tail stop die holder and a bit of lube Oh, put in gear out there. Can't find it, grind it. And we cut that, cut this thread hopefully, fingers crossed. Scream if you want to go faster. We'll take that down to that mark that I made, which is, oi, about there. And we'll back it out. And that's one end done. Uh, just gonna give it a defluff, there we go. And speed things back up. Just give it a gentle defluff. Getting fluff off, eh, Maxa? Uh, I'm really tempted to put a center in the end so I can clean it up afterwards. Anyway, I'll do the same with the other end and then we'll look at what's next. Okay, so with those ends done, we can have a bit hanging out, and we can just give it a quick clean up. Got a bit of paint on it as well, just from where it's been used to, oh, to spray wheels, actually. I put it through the center of the wheel and across my actual stands, so I can turn the wheel as I'm painting it. So as you can see, it's picked up a bit of two-pack black, which we'll just have off. This will want chroming. Or nickel plating, zinc probably. Bright zinc plate, yeah. That's uh, just the ticket for this kind of thing. So, yeah. Now we can take it over to the bike and bolt it all up. So with everything now bolted up in place, um, I had to break this tack. This had pulled down a little bit when I welded it. Don't know how or why or what, but we broke that tack to get everything lined up just perfect. So I'll redo that. These are all tacked up pretty much. It's a bit off the one that is, that needs a tonk. I'll do that. I'll line that up a bit better and get to uh, Maybe try and get a tack on the inside of that, but we'll take this plate off and I think I'm going to put a hole in it to echo that one. 
and uh, clean the corners up. So yeah, we'll get on and do that. So <laughs> with that done, uh, I've, I've used my TIG welder to weld the bracket that I munted yesterday because uh, Mr. Nigel has been in touch and he's co-responded and it's actually an headland bracket, not an engine mount bracket. We were wrong. So it's a good job I made a new one. Hey, right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tick weld round those. Uh, I'm going to reshape it, reprofile it a bit slimmer and cut that relief hole in it. So that's next on the agenda. Right, folks, with that cleaned up and welded up and all that, well, welded up and cleaned up in that order, we can do this all out with a brand new 7 8 cutter. So bear with me while I lean on this. I don't like that fucking pilot drilling this could do with the sharpen, to be fair, like, but you know. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Ruby beat. So, fingers crossed. This will cut nicely. Be nice and steady. days. And now it's time for a brew. <clears throat> In front of the heater. <laughs> because we can. Let's have a fucking check. It was three degrees when I sat down a minute ago and now it's nearly four. Woohoo! Subtropical it is. Practically sub fucking tropical. Right, as soon as I've had my brew, I'm going to get over. Do you know, I've been watching Alan Milliard. Uh, fucking hell. <sighs> what a nice bloke, you know. Seems dead clever, but everything he does, I think I could do. I don't think I could work everything out like he has. You know, I could copy what he's done. Anyway, I'm struggling not to slip into his character because I've been binging him. And I'm struggling not to use his uh, mannerisms with it. And it fitted just perfect. So I'm really pleased with it. So I'm going to come across this side and I'm going to use my band, my, my finger sander, finger file to clean off the paint so we can fit the rear, the uh, foot peg, I can't do him, see, there you go, no point in me blathering on it any more than normal is there. So next up we have the foot peg mounts and I've got these really long mounts on there. So I need to cut 45 millimetres off, so I'm ripping it off in the bandsaw. Ripping it, it's not going quick. See, what's strange is this one's drilled in tap 10, and this one's got a 3A UNC male on it, so someone's done something to them at some stage, and I'm about to do a bit more. I'm going to cut them up 45 mil off the end, off the end of them, like, uh, and then because of the shape of them, I'm not going to easily set that up in the uh, lathe. I'll do it in the milling machine. I'll, I'll flush the ends off in the milling machine and then look at drilling and tapping on both ends then. Right, with those cut, we can set them up in the milling machine and we can gently dress the ends up square. Uh, I've noticed the one that had the M10 hole and thread, you know, it's drilled in tap M10. It's ran off as it's gone down, it's not in the middle. So, I'm thinking maybe I need to go deep enough to remove that witness mark. If you can see it, you can see it there on the end, look. It's not in the fucking middle. Hmm, not sure about that. Not sure I'm going to go on there. But uh, we will probably just mill away until we get down to clean metal like. I'm not sure what they're made of, but they're quite tough. So we're not rushing into it. Just keep zigzagging away until we get where we need to be. Right, now we've got them stood up, we've squared off this edge that you can't see, and we've found the centre of each one when we wibbly wobbly. I didn't bother filming that bit. 
but we've set a DRO so we can go back to the center of each one at will and I'm just going to start them off with a little center drill and then we're going to drill them out to the tapping size for M10 which is um, 8.5 I think that fucking center drill is as fuck you could ride to London and back on that right again take two and a nice sharp fucking center drill so we'll just get that get the party started with that like so uh, and then I'll switch out to uh, 8.5 or whatever the tapping size is I can't remember now 8.7 or something I'll, I'll find it in my drawer anyway and we'll go from there alright and now we're 8.7 is the tapping size for M10 so I'm going to go 8.7 all the way like so alright and that's got that all the way through now what I'll do is give it a little chamfer to help the thread get started we're going in with the M10 machine tap now I think this will go so far and then it'll just spin in the chuck so we can finish it off by hand who are my I've got my hand on the off button anyway so trim if you want to go faster oh well that did it nice didn't it took it all the way Hey, she's a rum girl. She's a good ninja. Let's have it out. Happy days. Come again. So, I will do the same with the other one. Uh, I've set my digital bead out so I can go straight back to the middle of that one. And repeat what you've just seen. That'll be happy days. So with those shortened, drilled and tapped, we can look at making some brackets to mount them in line with this cross member is where I'm going to go with that cross tube. So I'm going to make some little triangle brackets that have a bit of 10mm plate. Right, so as always, we start off at the bandsaw, cutting a couple of chunks of it off, 35mm long. I'm going to come over to the belt sander to give them a deburr. Right, so... Film me, film it. So now I've used my trusty back marker to plot out where everything's going to go, uh, and then I'm going to centre dot for the 10 mil holes with a big fucking hammer, and I have left one inch at the top, and uh, come up half an inch from the bottom. So where those lines meet the edges, I will cut the corners off after I've drilled it. So I'll mark that look. Let's just mark this one quick. Oh, fucking hell. Like that. Yeah, so we'll end up with a little triangle with a 10mm hole in it. Here we go then. Two, three, four. Let's get that fed through. I think it might catch that fucking... Ooh, let's hope it don't catch that parallel. That wouldn't be good, would it? Hey? Now, I reckon it'll be me. You can see I've got my stop in place, so I can put the other one in and uh, just drill straight down without having to reposition it. Like, I'll just swap them over. There we go, we're through. Fucking happy days. So, I'll swap them over and repeat out with that. In with that, making sure that there's no chips fucking interfering with it. Nip it up. It bobs your fucking arm tail up. Sorted. Happy days. I know, so we have roughed off the angle of the dangle that we were gonna trim off. And I'm just cleaning it up with this end mill, so I'll show you in a sec what I mean so we've 
we've cut the corner off with a cutting disc and of course that's not fucking very true like so mm, I'm gonna go look just gonna give it another quick ten thou which is there and a scribble loop which is there fucking hell there's stuff dropping on the roof here it's I think snow's falling off next door's roof onto mine it's making me fucking jump right here we go And that should be just fucking peachy. Let me uh, see if I can get in. You're kind of in the way, but you know. So I'll undo the doodah, and there we go. So I'll take it over to the uh, belt sander, give it a quick deburr, oh, and then repeat the same with the other one. Just out of delivery, this frame tube is five meters long. That is. They normally cut it for me and. I ordered my usual from my usual place and they sent one length short. Now what I've got to do is cut cut it into three meters and two meters respectively so it'll fit in between my fucking post there on the old steel rack. So yeah, I get the for best get the battery fucking saw on the job. Right folks, so there's a big thaw going on outside. There's fucking water's cascading everywhere, I'm right? A flood. Um, but I've made those, they're fucking ready to tack on. Go and sit pretty, don't they? Happy days, you're not wrong with them. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to call it. That's me, I need to go and shoot. I need to get to fucking Leicester. Pick up our Josh. So it just leaves me to thank you for your company this morning, really. Um, fucking condensation in my moustache. It's frost on my moustache, honestly, officer. If you've enjoyed spending time with me as much as I've enjoyed having you here, give us a thumbs up, give us a sub, click the notification bell, and I will catch you on the next one, yeah? Check out all the bump and everything in the description below. See you soon. Have a great weekend. Lots of love, everyone.